Now, I'm going to place the stencil back into position. You see, that's the good thing about having so little paint. You don't have to wait for anything to dry. We've got to reposition this so that there are no white spaces. All right. Okay? Right, let's go with that. Now I'm going to remove this because you're going to do the next piece on from here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Everything you may need then. I'll give you my stencil brush. And my magic paper towel. Magic paper towel. All right. There you go. Okay, so I'm dabbing and then I'm swirling. Swirl. Swirl. Swirl really both work them. it. That's just a small patch. Okay. Small patch. Imagine that you're stirring paint at All this right. point. Well, you are stirring paint, but really work it in. Now go to the paper towel. All right. And I do the and same thing. And it's a more here. gentle stirring than you've just done now. Okay. Round and round. Bigger. That's it. All you right. want to work that paint into the bristles of the stencils. Oh, I brush. see. So I'm not trying to yeah, get it off. I'm trying to no, get it you're in. You're working it in. That should be okay I see. now. Okay. Start very lightly and on the edge of your shape. Okay. There's a reason for it being on the edge of the shape. Okay, tap, tap, tap. That's it. Don't think about it. The paint can only go where there are holes. The paint's not going to go anywhere it shouldn't because it is so dry. All right. So when you finish that bit there, try mm -hmm. the other technique. Make sure all the space is filled in. Okay. That's nice, isn't it? Do you see, mm -hmm. you're just tickling around. At this point, you're stirring tea, so it's a lot more gentle. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I'm stirring and, tea. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to make the color stronger, you go over it a second time. All right. And that will always give you clean, sharp edges. Okay, so that's why I'm getting around the outside because I want those edges to be you do. pronounced. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. And then the inside is the less inside critical. more or less takes care of itself, yeah. Alright. Is that enough or should I do more? Yeah. Do you want to have a look? Sure, let's I'll take keep a my hand on here so we can place it again easily if need be. Alright. Okay. Well, so that's pretty cool. Got? This is the first one you've done. That's entirely brilliant. We just build and okay. grow from there. All right. Yeah, that's great. When it starts to be hard work, mm -hmm. that's when you go back more paint. and take more paint. So you want me just to dab and then swirl? I want you to swirl and swirl. Swirl and yep. swirl. Swirl and swirl. Got it. Yep. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Swirl onto your paper towel. Big swirl. Big yeah, swirl. Yeah, come on. Go for it. Okay. And now put it through the holes in your stencil. All right. Yeah. There is something I do call, that I call my dab test. Show me the dab test. How okay, the dab test. Let's get a clean piece of paper. Okay, so we'll start right from the beginning with the dab test. Take a small amount of paint. Stir. Okay, big stirring. Slightly more gentle stirring. You can keep going back to the same patch because all okay. you're doing at this point is working the paint into the bristles of the brush. Okay. Then you're drying the tips of the bristles. Tap, tap, tap. This is a dab test. If it smudges, oh, there's too much, too much paint. paint. See, there's a comic okay. tail there. Okay. So you would go back, just take off another bit of paint. Ah, ah we can work with that. Okay. okay. So it is dry before it's even put through the holes that is in such your stencil. Revelation. Yep. Once you realize how little paint to use, this will all become mm -hmm. very, very mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm.